Hi, welcome back to Mrs. Jager's Book Nook. Today we are going to read one of the Splat the Cat books. There's tons of these books in this series, so go check them out. I picked this one because it's got chicks on it, and it's springtime right now, so I thought it would be a perfect time when all those little baby chicks are hatching. And this one's called Splat the Cat and the Quick Chicks. Hmm, I wonder how quick they really are. Let's find out. Splat's class had class pets. I wish we had class pets. Twelve chicken eggs. Very soon they would hatch. Then they would be chicks. I don't know if Mrs. Roney would let us have chickens for class pet. <laughs> Mrs. Wimbley Dimple asked, would someone take the eggs home to watch tonight? Quick as a wink, every paw flew up. We'll pick sticks, Mrs. Wimbley Dimple said. Whoever picks the longest stick takes home the chicks. Sticks and chicks. That rhymes. One by one, every cat picked a stick. Plank picked a long stick. Kitten picked a, sh a longer stick. Splat picked the longest stick of all. Hooray! Mrs. Wembley Dimple helped Splat get the eggs packed up. Just keep an eye on them and keep them warm, said Mrs. Wembley Dimple. That will do the trick. Splat carried the eggs home slowly and carefully. No skips, no kicks, no quick sudden movements along the way. Splat made the chicks a cozy nest in his drawer. At bedtime, Splat said, good night, chicks, and turned out the light. Click. Early the next morning, Splat woke with a start. <gasps> he felt a peck on his ear. He felt a tickle on his foot. Splat looked in the nest. The eggs had hatched. The chicks were out and about. Two chicks were on Splat. <gasps> but where were the rest? Oh dear. Cheep, cheep. Splat's ears pricked up. He followed the sound and he found two chicks in his thick, warm socks. So we had two. Now we have two more. So now he's found four. Splat found two more chicks snuggled up to the clock. Tick. So four and two more, that makes six. Splat looked in his toy corner. There was a chick in a truck. There was a chick in Splat's magic trick box. So six, seven, eight. One chick was sitting in a paint box. Ick. Nine. Oh, that was that one. And there were two chicks in the house made of snap together bricks. Ten, eleven. Splat had found eleven chicks. But one was still missing. Splat was worried sick. Then Splat heard a pick, peck, pick. He turned around in the nick of time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going to happen to that chick? <gasps> there was the last chick. It picked and pecked at the basket. Then it hopped away. The other chicks went with it. Stop, chicks, said Splat. Splat chased chicks up and chased chicks down. He's even trying to get dressed in the process. Chicks fell in, but chicks hopped out. Wet feathers drip, drip, dripped. Splat slipped in the puddle. Splat. That's why he splat the cat. The chicks stood all over Splat. We'd better get to school before you run away again, said Splat. Splat led the way and the chicks followed every move. Oh, he found a way to keep them all together. With skips and kicks and good little chicks got to school lickety-split. Splat's class was so surprised. Instead of 12 eggs, now there were... 11 chicks, said Mrs. Wimply Dimple. Splat! Where's the missing chick? Oh no, thought Splat. But before he could get worried sick, Splat heard a cheep, cheep, cheep. Phew, said Splat. These chicks are quick. See that guy hiding there? Oh man, sounds like there's a lot of shenanigans that those chicks are getting into. They are pretty quick. All right, friends. So, that was the book, Splat the Cat. Go check out all the other Splat the Cat books, and I'll see you guys back here next time on Mrs. Jager's Book Nook.